Well, guys, the water clarity, I would say it's not a six, it's about a four over here by Fish Pass Jetties. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting tired of this weather. I don't think I've ever seen it like this in uh, almost five years I've lived down here. Uh, the water has been pretty much almost up to the dunes. Driving is pretty freaking bad, as you could see in front of me here. I mean, you know, the water's down a lot right now, but it's been going to the dunes for the past, I don't know, month, month and a half. It's just been really, really bad, guys. The sun has hardly come out. It's been dreary, cloudy like this. Fishing has been just terrible. I know some of you have caught, you know, some redfish and stuff like that uh, in the surf, but I think you got to be at the right spot at the right time uh, with conditions like this because the currents have been really, really, really strong and it's hard to keep your line from going down the beach. But the, um, the sand is just ridiculous, the driving conditions. It's just, it's pretty bad. And uh, you definitely need a four wheel drive. But it's just, it, it, the weather needs to get better. The sun needs to come out. But like I said, you know, it is what it is. You gotta make the best out of whatever situation you're in when you're out here. And I really don't care about the sand being that deep. It's just the way the surf is right now. Uh, when that current is that strong, it's really, really hard to fish. You know, it just is. But we're going to try the uh, fish pass jetties. We're gonna use a popping cork and we're gonna throw some shrimp and some mullet and see if maybe we can bring in a redfish and then we'll hit the surf uh, it's really hard to tell which way the current's running right now. It looks like it's running north to south, but I won't know till I get a line in. And I know a lot of you guys that come down here, you know, you only got a couple of days on vacation or whatever, are kind of disappointed, but <laughs> uh, usually in the months of March, April, and a little bit of May, it's usually pretty bad situation. And then it starts clearing up in June, July, and August. But and this is kind of abnormal for uh, this time of year. Usually the surf is dirty brown, but it's still fishable. But it just, it's been really bad. The surf has been 12 sets, 14, 20 sets. It's been awful. So today it looks like it's about three foot. The height, I probably could have actually brought the RC boat out and used it. Well, I don't know, that last set of waves looks pretty big, but so driving conditions are a lot better than they were on Saturday right here at Fish Pass. The water's down a lot lower. So we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll throw a popping cork, and if we don't get anything on the jetties, then we'll, uh, we'll surf fish. past jetties we are going to try to throw a popping cork with some shrimp and mullet and if we don't catch anything here we'll move up the beach a little bit i see some birds hitting the water so maybe we'll get lucky and we'll catch us a good sized redfish today the water's kind of dirty guys it's like a four out of ten ten being the best all right first cast A lot of slippery down here, man. <sighs> Need a fish. I 
I got a bite, dude. little hard head. These are the worst things to catch with these fins because these small ones will get you. First fish of the day, a damn hard head. Excuse my language. Let's see what happens, guys. Got to be a hungry red fish or something out here. Might have to put one of them big pieces of mullet on. If we catch another hardhead. Ah, popping cork wasn't working too good, so we're gonna cast some fresh frozen or fresh mullet. It's not frozen, so uh. See what happens, guys. Maybe it's not a hard head. Nope, yep, looks like another damn hard head. Yep. Got another hard head. Or a lot of seaweed. We'll see. A lot of seaweed, guys. That's it. All right, we got both these poles out, guys. One with salted shrimp and one with cut mullet. I want to show you why I stopped here. See how the water comes up to the beach right here and then it goes down, comes around, 
and then it comes back up where those birds are hanging out. And that's one of the reasons why I stopped right here because the birds are hanging out right there. And then it gets about knee deep right there, right in front of me, and then it goes up a little bit and then starts getting deeper again. So this area right here could be a fish super highway. So I, will, I threw one pole right in that area and then one towards the second gut. Where's the fish, guys? Not a bite yet, but I've only had these poles in the water for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna check the bait on this one right here and throw it right back in that fish super highway. Looked like something got a hold of the first one. We're gonna put a, a real piece of shrimp on, no salted shrimp, see if that works. I got salted shrimp, regular shrimp, and uh, mullet. And I got fish bites, of course. Sometimes they won't bite on salted shrimp and they'll bite on real shrimp and then sometimes they bite on salted shrimp. You guys, I don't want to see you over near my bait because I know how sneaky you are. You got to watch out for them seagulls, man. Even the blackbirds, you got to watch out for them because they will steal everything you have. Yeah, I hear you. I know what you're thinking. So here, you don't even have to get in the water. You could just literally just cast it right there in that knee-deep water. Right there. And I'm telling you guys, sometimes, sometimes you guys, you know, that come down here on vacation, you're fishing too deep. Sometimes they're just right 15 feet offshore. And you could cast out there to the second gut and not catch anything, but as soon as you put it right there, boom, you're catching them left and right. So always keep one pole in the first gut and then your other pole in the second gut and then one either before the second gut or after the second gut. That's what I do. Little guy's a thief right there. He went over there on my cutting board and stole my bait. What the heck's going on with this pole here? <laughs> Must be a ton of seaweed on here, man. Because it's way down the beach. It's either a fish or a seaweed. I mean... It is way down the beach. Ton of seaweed. It might be a fish on there too. I think I see a little tail. So we might have a hard head or something. But not sure, but I know there's a lot of seaweed on there. Yep, just seaweed. Nope, there's a fish on there. Well, if you were eating hardheads, you'd have a pretty good day. This is the third one today. All right. I'm about tired of these little monsters. I guess catching a hardhead versus catching no fish, that's better than nothing. But we're using clam flavor, blue and white fish bites, and uh, some salted shrimp. And I've been kind of mixing it up. I'll put salted shrimp, then regular shrimp, and then we've been using mullet. But nothing's really biting on the mullet. Maybe it's something besides a dang hard head. I also got some seaweed. At least I know I got a fish. One after another, guys. Another bunch of hard heads. like another hard head. Oh, 
I got two this time. No, whiting. There we go, guys. Whiting are showing up now. No more hardheads. Well, guys, I've tried everything from mullet, salted shrimp, regular shrimp, fish bites, both on the jetties and out here. I had a big old chunk of mullet on there. I, had, I cut it in little pieces. Uh, so I caught like five hard heads and a couple of whiting, but it's just not a very good day. There is some seaweed floating in there and it's getting on your lines and taking your line all the way up the beach. So uh, to me, I, I don't know what's going on. It's been like this for about, what, a month and a half now. So today was not a very good day. When I got here, this was a really good spot. It was real deep right off the edge here and it kind of rounded out. But as the tide went down, it kind of destroyed this area. There was a bunch of pelicans sitting over there. So that's why I stopped here. Anything at all, guys, to hit that mullet. Nothing, man. Except probably crabs, you know, tearing a hole in it or whatever. I know this ain't much of a video, but at least you get to see the conditions in the beach. Uh, lots of seaweed up here laying. Driving's not too good. It's a lot better right now because it's low tide than what it was earlier. But um, it's just, you know, the current, I don't think the current's as strong as it was on Saturday. It's just when that sargasso gets on your line, it's floating and it just carries your line all the way down. So it don't matter what size weight you have on there, your line is gonna float down the beach if you get some sargasso on there. But nothing out here but whiting and uh, a bunch of hard heads and water clarity is probably about a four this morning i thought it was about a six but uh now nah, it's about a four nothing at the jetties i fished with a popping cork with shrimp uh mullet uh you name it i didn't use any fish bites over there but i couldn't get anything hooked over there except hard heads appreciate you guys watching this video hopefully we'll take the sea dew out either tomorrow probably to uh port aransas at the south jetty and go to the end of it and see if maybe we can get out past the surf and stuff like that. So I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or the next day, but I appreciate all the support on my Patreon page. I'm back on layoff status. I went to work for a couple weeks, three days a week. Uh, so at least it gave me something. So if you want to see videos that are not posted up on YouTube, like I put two of them up today uh, on uh, Patreon, and a lot of times I'll shoot the videos when I'm out here fishing or whatever. And there's all kinds of articles on how to catch every fish that you can think of and, and a lot of other articles. So if you're interested in uh, supporting the channel, then check out our Patreon page and I'll put the link down in the description. See you guys next video. I appreciate you watching. And like I said, this ain't much, but at least it's something. Peace guys.